Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Summit. And as, as you can see, we're not in the truck and we're not even towing the Love Sub. But we're doing something that's important to us with regards to the weather. As you know, when you're RVing, the weather is extremely important. And we are off to Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, the self-proclaimed weather capital of the world, to determine if we're going to get six more weeks of winter or if we're going to have an early spring. We hope that the groundhog does not see his shadow. Yes, so we are going to be heading off there and we're going to hopefully get a report not only on Punxsutawney Phil and whether his what his prognostication is, but also um, all the fun events that surround it. Yeah, this is kind of part of our Americana series. So this is, um, I think, just something last year we were sitting around the sofa saying, wow, we'd love to go to this. And, we're on our way. So stay tuned as we head off to Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Well, good morning. It is 3 a.m. after a 2 a.m. wake up. We're at our hotel. Yep. And we are heading off to Punxsutawney. This so, will be an hour and a half drive. So. It won't be an hour and a half. Hopefully not. And it's snowing outside. And it is snowing. So yeah, we'll check things out here. Get moving. Yep. Off we go. Good morning. All right, good morning. See, how are we doing? And we're in line for the bus tickets. Yep. And with about 40,000 other people, we think. So yes. we finally found a parking space. Which was a miracle of itself. We're kind of at a Walmart. Parking lot that's completely full, if you can imagine. Yeah, it's kind of nuts. So, uh, but we found a place, so. We're going to pay $5 each for a ticket. Yep, and that'll take us to the knob. Yep, amongst everybody else. See how it goes. Yep. That's yeah. our, the start of the morning. The yes. ride kind of stunk, but it was better than our winter storm Avery ride by a little bit. Right. If you've not checked out that video. Right. No, so. exactly. uh, we'll catch you on the bus. Yep. All right. Looks like we're getting close to getting on the bus here. Cindy's got her pass. Please go towards the back, thank you. Alright. Oh yeah, that way you're being on one each, huh? Yeah, we got here. You can see the line of buses, there's a zillion of them. And then this is the sign. The <laughs> Gobbler's Knob sign. So we're gonna head on in. We're hearing a lot of- Will you just meet us there? Yeah, do you see Big uh, gate that says Gobbler's Knob. And there you can see where Pucks and Tawny Phil's going to be coming out. That's it, alright! So what's his official name say? Pucks and Tawny Phil, Seer of Seers, Sages of Sages, Prognosticator of Prognosticators, and Weather Expert Extraordinary. Pretty good. That's not bad. What does this say? This is uh, Puxatani. Gangnam style? Gangnam style. Yep, so we are here on 02022020, which is like a panadrome or something, right? Yep, palindrome. Palindrome. That means it means the same thing forwards and backwards. So what are you getting your hands there, see? I got hand warmers. Nice. I'll include the chemical re uh, formula or the reaction for what's happening with hand warmers. Yeah, they're not happening too fast. With people starting to gather as early as 3 a.m., the organizers did a great job keeping everyone entertained with fireworks, funfetti, and all sorts of music and dance. But soon it was time for the inner circle to come on stage and see what Phil had to say. Welcome to Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, our 134th trek. In just a few moments, we're going to get Phil out. Before we do that, I have to go through a little educational thing here with you. The cane that I am carrying, you're holding in my left hand right now, is a cane that's been passed down from president to president. This cane gives me the ability to speak in groundhog ease. So without this cane, I cannot communicate with Phil. But I do have the cane this morning, and we are going to get fill out in a few moments and communicate. We're either going to have an early spring or six more weeks of winter. <laughs> what do we want, winter or spring? Spring! I don't know what's going to happen here, but we'll go wait and see. Okay, 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have to wake Phil up. And to wake Phil up, we're going to do a chant. Phil. 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 We gotta do some serious business. <laughs> Gather around, members of the inner circle. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Now this second day of February 2nd, 2020, 2020 the 134th annual trek of the Punxsutawney Groundhog Club. Punxsutawney Phil, the seer of seers, prognosticator of all prognosticators, was awakened from his burrow to the cheers of thousands upon thousands <laughs> from around the world. In Groundhog Ease, Phil directed the inner circle to his prediction scroll, which reads, it's a Phil fantastic day in these beautiful woods, thousands and thousands in the Knob neighborhood. <laughs> you faithful followers are the best, it's true, you, who wouldn't want neighbors just like you? Now my forecast on a day that's a palindrome will cause some to cheer and some to moan. So do I hope you think it's neighborly? For there is no shadow of me, spring air! What happened? I couldn't Wait. see it. <laughs> so what is it, an early spring or a late winter? No, it's an early spring. That's the first time that's ever happened two yep. years in a row, right? Yep. Awesome. Look at the snow coming down, how beautiful it is here. And we look forward to seeing you next year, 02-02-2021. Happy Groundhog Day! Bye. So it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun, yep. Yep. So see, what have you found? The Weather Channel car. What's that? The Weather Channel car. Sweet. I see. That was pretty high tech. It is pretty high tech. And as you can see, there's a huge line of school buses. But we're walking. We are at Bill's Burrow in Puxatunny, and we had just finished seeing the prediction by Phil, and this is where he lives when he's not predicting. So who's in there right now? His wife, but I don't know his name. Her, her name. name. I think it's Phyllis. Might be Phyllis. But you can see down here there's a bunch of crafts areas. Souvenir shops, everything's pretty crowded. It's a, it's a Sunday, so uh, recommend coming on a weekday if you can. Let's see if we can see her Phyllis there. Check it out. Dale will be over here in a little bit. Will he? He's in the little cave, I think. You can see her in the little cave. Oh, there he is. He's in there. there you go. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, so what did we see when we drove by on the road here? We saw the Groundhog Winery. Yeah. So it fit with the theme of the day is Happy Groundhog Day. Why else do we need to stop at a winery? Uh, we are stuck in a hotel room for Super Bowl Sunday, and we need a bottle of wine. So this sounds like it worked out all together. So the reasoning was awesome. Yes. And uh, I'm trying this Pinot Noir, so okay. we'll see how it goes. Nice and dry. It's good. We'll have fun trying them. Have fun trying them and have fun drinking it tonight. Go uh, Chiefs. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there you have it. Groundhog Day. Yes. Looks like it's going to be an early spring, which is exactly what we want because we've got about just about three weeks before we head out on our spring trip. So that early spring totally worked for us. It is. So what do you think? It was, uh, if you're crowd uh, phobic, that's probably yeah. not the event for you. There were a lot of people and we were stuffed like groundhogs in a sardine tin. Right, like but this. they also did say that if you come on a weekend, 
Groundhog Day, it's worse. So. Right, so it's going to be another five or six years before there's another weekend Groundhog Day, so it might be a good time to come in the next couple of uh, years. Uh, we showed up around 4 50 at the Walmart parking lot, and it was nuts. We got like the last parking space I think we could find almost. Well, I think we more maneuvered the parking spot than got an official way. Yep. And yeah, we actually parked on a bank lot, I think. But anyway, another good tip is on the way back, there was a massive amount of people waiting for the buses, even though they did a great job. Yep. We walked back and I think we beat everyone back. I think they were dropping at every location. Yeah, so um, I think overall, get there early. Get there early. Be prepared for crowds. Be prepared for cold temperatures as well. Yep, and have fun. It's one of the great things about Americana. We, as you know from our series, and you can check out our South of the Border yep. uh, series here, we love Americana, and this was one of them. We're glad we did it. Yes. So we're here at Marzoni's Pizza and Brew House in Altoona. Enjoying a beer. Yep, I think we got an amber. Well, well earned beer. Cheers. Cheers. An amber and a lager. And we're going to be doing some crispy deviled eggs. And a little bit of pizza. Standard pizza. And just kind of finish out the day. Yep. So if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Yes, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And leave a comment if you've ever been to Groundhog Day or if you're thinking of going to Groundhog Day. Uh, let us know what you think about it. Yeah, it was fun. Because we come out with RV and Airstream related and Americana videos like this every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.